All right, so Brian, let, let's just go through, because I mean, you were ready to to tear down some of these things that we hear all the time in that in that in your remarks at the school board meeting. And, you know, for those, I mean, I'm in New York City today, like the heart of New York City, and the people here, yes. they don't see the world as you see the world. The white liberals who run this city have a very different message, and it does not include I live in America and opportunity is everywhere. It's about America is a racist country, that there are racists everywhere, and that you are disadvantaged because you may be half white, but you don't have white privilege because your skin isn't white like theirs is. And they feel guilty about that. And they want you to know they feel guilty about that. And they really want to tear down the country because it's been built on that privilege that, that must be destroyed. So what do you say to people who think that way? Uh, what I say to them is, number one, don't believe the lies. Believe your life. You know, you have I've, I've been to New York and you have uh, places like Brooklyn that are highly prosperous. So if you just believe your life and your interactions with your neighbors and and the commerce and, you know, you're going to the school sporting events, just believe your life. Don't don't live your life and then watch the news and let someone tell you that your life is actually not your life. And I think that actually solves the problem because. Wherever you find people, you find imperfection. However, America is the greatest place on earth. If you're if if you're a minority, I mean, where are you going to find greater opportunity than in America? If you're a majority, where are you going to find greater opportunity than in America? This place has become what it is. We've all made it this way. And let's simply believe the life we live every day. But you're, you know, you come from North Carolina. This is a traditionally a Southern state. You're telling me you haven't bumped into some racists in your time, in your 40 plus years, bouncing around with your family state to state. Like you must have run into people who treat you differently because of the color of your skin. Absolutely. It, it happens. It doesn't happen every day. It doesn't even happen every month. You know, but I don't assume if someone doesn't like me, it's automatically because I'm black. It, you know, maybe they just don't like me. Mm-hmm. And I've met racists and encountered things. And I'm like, ooh, that was a little odd. But that's all it was, was odd. Like, I go live my life. You know, you live life with the people who say yes, not the people who say no. You know, your life is, is made up of the people who are your friends, not the people who aren't your friends. And that's, that's the way it goes. What about um, what you were saying in your remarks about uh, transgender swimmers and so on? Like, that is a big issue for a lot of parents who are too afraid to say anything about it. But that's why I think this Leah Thomas swimming and crushing all the women in these races is actually a good thing. I'm like, go, Leah, go. You do it. Yeah. You know, and the and the women, I'm sorry. I understand it's hard for the women on her swim team to speak out. They're worried about getting jobs. Let them learn the lesson firsthand of what happens when you stay silent. This is what happens. This is what happens. And, and, and Megan, that's actually, you know, I, that's why we homeschooled. You know, that's why I love school choice because what occurred was, I didn't know how to go to a school board. I didn't even know that existed, you know, as a younger man. So when they were bringing in the sex education and and saying they wanted to talk to my kid, I'm like, how about you're not going to talk to my kid? (laughs) And 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 now I'm saying, oh, I'm going to fight for this because my kid is going to go there, you know, and the the it's just ridiculous. The common sense part. And I'm not telling anyone how they should feel. I'm saying how it needs to be for my child. My daughter, no dude is going to push around my daughter. I don't care what he thinks about himself. I'm not going to argue with how anyone feels about themselves, but I am absolutely uh, vested in how my daughter is treated and the opportunity she has. Mm -hmm. Right. And if we if we don't speak up, this is what happens. You know, I mean, I understand the position that these swimmers are in. You know, they need to get jobs and so on. And the school has been totally against them and unsupportive of them. But when push comes to shove, there comes a point at which you have to fight. You must fight. Let the chips fall where they may. There are enough employers out there who would have empathy for these biological women speaking out about this cross this transgender swimmer that they will get a job and ideally at a company that shares their values which are just american values of fairness of justice that's why i like to see you speaking out because it's a good example of other people for other people of how to do it so for the people who are afraid right who are afraid they don't they don't want to go to the school board meeting on crt on masking on the inappropriate sex ed that's being you know it's, this isn't your normal sex ed this is weird like let's teach and celebrate kink <laughs> yes. like no how about no as you said what do you say to them 
I say you get with parents. We have a, a, a local parent here who made a very big deal and got a lot done with the mask mandates. His name, he actually is teaching me how to do this as far as getting active in the school board. His name is Kenny Wartman. And Kenny really led the, the charge against the mask mandate. So you get with each other. And this is what I mean by I'm saying parents are taking back the wheel. So they've overstepped their boundary because while they have their policies and their theories in application, parents are standing up everywhere. And I, parents, they, your neighbor agrees with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> your neighbor with a daughter, with a son agrees with you. Talk to them and then show up to the school board meetings, show up to the commissioner meetings and tell the tell them you agree. We need laws in place, not just resolutions. There's no consequence on a local school board resolution. We need laws in place that carry consequences so that our children can be safe, so that they can have the future that we've envisioned. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.